Juan Pablo Alperin and his seven-year-old son live in this shared house in East Vancouver. They rent a room for $820 a month. And he's not low income. He's an assistant professor at Simon Fraser University. I certainly didn't imagine myself uh, being almost 40 years old, having a good job and working and sort of being fairly established and considering that I would still be in this kind of a situation. Housing markets in Canada's biggest cities have started to soften, but rent is still considered far from affordable. A huge part of Vancouver's rental market is condos. In a new high-rise like this downtown, a small one-bedroom would easily run you $2,500 a month. What we really need is publicly owned rental stock so that we can keep the rents low. And this housing advocate says the federal leaders should make it a cornerstone of their campaigns. Housing is a human right. And so what we really need is politicians that understand what that means, uh, say it publicly often, and are willing to fight for a bold, massive investments. That but housing experts say there's a complication in a country this big. Well, the issue is one size may not fit every housing market. He says it can be tricky for the leaders to pitch a policy that will please all Canadians. At a federal level, you face the issue of you want to have a broad federal policy, but sometimes targeting interventions to markets where they're more important. Uh, you know, obviously is going to make better sense. But for Al Perrin, affordable rent is a critical election issue, one he'll be hinging his vote on. I would certainly uh, only support parties that are, have this issue front uh, and centre. I think there does need to be some drastic measures. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.